Here's the juicy stuff. This is what, our fourth video on RV internet? We have cameras, we have smart smoke detectors, smart TVs, and we need something that's stable. All this allows us to do, guys, to just broaden, you know, spray out that signal even further. Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So one of the biggest questions that we get, one of the biggest questions that we see is RV internet. What do people do for RV internet? Whether you're a part-time RVer like us, a yep. full-time RVer, we live in a connected world and it's really almost a critical item at this point. So in this video, we're going to talk about our latest and greatest internet setup. It's a good one. Yeah, it's super stable, super fast. So you're going to want to stick around. We're going to give you all the details on our setup. But before we get into all the juicy details, we want to thank the official sponsor of this video. It's going to be Blue Ox RV Inspections. Now, if you watched our videos, we are big advocates of getting an RV inspection. It's really important for many different reasons. So Pierre is a certified RV inspector. Both he and Laurel have a background in manufacturing. Their knowledge is key to providing you a thorough and detailed report. And believe me, these reports are thorough. You're looking at 80 to 100 pages for a premier inspection that's going to give you all the details about what's going on in that RV. RV. A report will give you power in negotiating a new or used RV. No one wants to see their RV guys sitting in the shop, especially when you first get it and you're not able to use it. So Blue Ox RV Inspection will give you peace of mind in your new acquisition. Now, Pierre and Laurel, they've enjoyed the RV lifestyle for years, over 40 years, and they're actually full-time living in their RV right now. They're currently in Florida, but they travel and they will be traveling around the US. They'll actually be up in New England this summer and eventually all over the US. So reach out to them they are phenomenal again it's pierre and laurel at blue ox rv inspection their link is going to be below all right so here's the juicy stuff now this is what our fourth video on rv internet yes and we talked about this guys technology changes very rapidly like five years in the world of technology is like a hundred years in the world <laughs> of cars it changes that quickly and we've had our evolutions of our rv internet setup we've learned a lot of things we've gotten some good systems and we've recently upgraded we found a local place and we're going to kind of talk about what we have so one of the biggest things again new rvs out there rvs in general is rv internet and it's no different for us. We have cameras, we have uh, smart smoke detectors, smart TVs. We come out, you know, we have a YouTube channel. We need internet connection and we need something that's stable. So let's show you exactly what our current setup is. The details are gonna be in the description below. We'll send you, we'll put the links and you can read all the details. But basically what our setup is, this is a custom router. So there's a local place out in uh, Chester, New York, but they do have an eBay store. And here's the router that we currently use. This has a Cat20 motor them inside it's a 4x4 MIMO high speed 4G LTE 5G capable it has both 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi it works really good i don't know get into all the techno because i'm not like a geek like that you can reach out to wait, wait what what i'm You're not like not that a much of a geek this is all <laughs> i care about number one that it's stable which it is number two that it can work on all different carriers which it does currently people are going to ask is what carrier we're we using you can use any carrier you want on here we're on at&t first net which is um, for first responders only so we have true unlimited priority internet so we're not worried about throttling or limits now there's different ways you can work with that and i would contact these people and we'll put their their ebay store down below and we don't we don't get paid from them it's just it's a really good product the way this is set up one of the reasons why we like this or why i like it because mj doesn't really i'm kind of the one that's in charge of this yeah, stuff so you calling yourself not a geek is just incorrect yeah so if you want to focus back here here's some of the big <laughs> things that we like right you have the land ports in the back so you can see one is going out it's going to a uh, Google Mesh system, and I'll explain why we use that a little bit later, but you can see also in here, these connections, you might be wondering, what are all these wires in here? Well, these are wires that are going to an external uh, permanently mounted uh, roof antenna, it's a Panorama Mako antenna, a 5G capable antenna. If you don't wanna do that, you can just put antennas like this, just like the little stick antennas, and it'll work. That's pretty critical, that, that input for the external antennas, because what that's gonna allow it to do, you're gonna be able to put an antenna up high, you get a better signal. It also allows us, I don't know if you've seen on previous videos, we have that big Yagi style uh, four antennas that we can point out. So we haven't been to a location yet that we can't get internet. Now, of course, some places are much better than others, but we haven't been to a place that we've gotten no internet. So what kind of speeds are we getting? We're in a really crappy location where we live mountainous, a lot of rocks, a lot of trees. When we install this system, we're getting like parked right now in like super bad internet, one or two bars. We get about 25 meg download speeds, about 
four to seven upload speeds. When we've been to other places, we're getting above 100 meg download speeds. It's not uncommon to get 50 down, you know, 10, up. It, it's it's really really good now is it going to be your fiber optic at home no it's not what this is allow us to do again we could run our cameras we could run our smartphone we could upload and download video we have all our smart you know systems in here it's a really stable setup it's a really effective setup um are you subscribed to our channel if you're not hit the subscribe button below make sure to hit the notification bell so you know when we go live or release new videos also we have a private group on facebook we want you to join us it's called Endless RVing, RVers Coming Together. That's a pretty sweet shirt you have on right there. What's right. that about? Thank you, darling. This is our new merch, which isn't out yet. Yeah, how, you're going to want to know, how do you find out about this merch? I know everybody's going to want it. It's going to be <laughs> two weeks only. We're running it for two weeks. How are you going to know when it releases? You have to sign up for our mailing list, our ERV mailing list. It's free. You get free information on there. Yeah, we or, have a free monthly newsletter we put out. Yeah, you can do that. Or you can follow us on social media. Mm -hmm. And regarding the mailing list, we don't sell people's no, 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 like no, no, stuff. No, no, it's no, just no. It's for just, us to send yeah. out the newsletter yeah. to people. So yeah, go check it out. We'll put all the links below. A couple of other things I just want to point out. This is capable of dual SIM. So you can set it up. If you want to have multiple carriers, you can do that. So say you're in a place you have Verizon, but it wasn't worked that well, but AT&T works well, you can kind of do that. One other thing, I, and you don't have to use this, but I said I do use it, the Google Mesh system. All this allows us to do, guys, it allows us to just broaden, you know, spray out that signal even further. We have one up front. We have one in the bedroom. We're completely saturated here. Actually, when I'm up in the bedroom at home, the signal shows up. So when we're at a campground, if we're outside, if we're anywhere near the RV, we have a signal. So if we want to go outside and we want to work on, on do something, this just allows us to do that. Is that necessary? No, it's not necessary, but it's just a nice little addition to have. So if you want to get more information and actually look into this product a little deeper, in the description below, we'll put the links for the Panorama Mako Antenna and for the eBay store where we did purchase this. Yeah, like we said earlier, like I said earlier, we don't, we're not getting paid for like selling these modems. It, it doesn't really matter if we buy them or not. Like right, it's just it's a really, really good, good product. The other question a lot of people have is regarding like the internet and what service they should use as far as like caps. That's like super nerdy stuff. What I would say when you go to the- it's Too nerdy even for him. Yeah, and all kinds of specs. If you have questions, go to the eBay store Send them a message. Tell them that we sent you. He knows who I am. I've been up there. Because he's been stalking and, the, and they're really good. No, and the guy's really good. And he, he actually has a storefront and he's super, like he knows what he's doing. Yeah. So send him a message. In the comments below, let us know what kind of uh, internet setup do you have? Has this kind of been an eye opener? You know, this is one that I wouldn't have known looking at like the big the big dealers. I, right. I kind of looked around, poked around a little more. I think we found something really good. Also to the left of us, we are going to put our playlist for like internet and newbie stuff, yep. right? We'll yep. put that to the left. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on the road. road.